Hello there and welcome to another video from Martin's Six Skills Workshops. And today is a juggling tutorial. So ideally you need sort of three bean bags, something with a little bit of giving, because we're going to look at doing moves around the leg and also the foot. And we're going to look at a move called the foot stall or a foot catch. It's a lot easier for you something that's got a little bit of give in. So this is what the foot stall, uh, foot catch looks like. Um, it's pretty much as it sounds. You're going to catch the ball on your foot. That's why if you use a bean bag, it's got a little bit of give, makes this move much, much easier. So it looks something like this. So what will help with this move is if you don't just throw the ball up, because if you throw the ball up and try and do your stall, it's a lot harder to catch. The ball's coming down from a greater height, so really ideally you just want to just sort of do a drop like that and then flick it up into your pattern. You're just literally lining it up with your knee and your leg and you're just dropping it almost onto your foot. And then as soon as it lands on the foot, you just want to just ease the foot down a little bit and that kind of cushion the throw. So at the end of this video, I'll show you that in slow motion. And the second move that we're going to look at is the leg pop. So it looks like this. So you really want it sort of in this space and that takes a bit of practice to get it consistently sort of popping it back as you want. Because if you don't practice this, it's an easy move to do, but the balls kind of fly off all over the place. So that's the leg pop. And again, at the end, there'll be a little bit in slow motion doing the leg pop. And the last move is under the leg. Now I go from outside to in. Um, you could try going from inside to out, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like going from outside to in. So you just do a usual pattern or whatever pattern you're doing, and then you just throw it under your leg. So you've got to make a noise, and you're sort of sweeping it under. You notice it's sort of, a, you want to get plenty of height on the throw. So this is what it looks like doing consecutively. And again, I'll show you what that looks like in slow motion at the end of the video. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Um, please uh, subscribe. Hit me up with a like. Subscribing, it's a way of showing that you've enjoyed this video and you like my content. And it takes a moment. You can do it in a click of a finger. So there you go. You've done it. You've hit that subscribe button. But once again, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you don't miss the third in the series. I'll be looking at some further body moves, throws and stalls. This is goodbye from Martin Circus Skills Workshops. Bye-bye.